Hello everyone, Ruby Retrograde Tarot and Tate here and what I will be serving you guys for today is a new arrival that came just today. Um, I actually was checking on it this morning and got a delivered notification and I started panicking because I didn't get the chance to ask to have it be rerouted to uh, like somewhere else where I could pick it up. But uh, when I got home, finally, it was there waiting for me. It was inside. I think my neighbor took it for me and put it inside. So very cool of my neighbor. Um, thanks a lot. Got my back. Uh, it's a Kickstarter, and uh, I actually got two decks from that creator. We're going to look at the one that I actually backed for, and then I'll make another separate video uh, for the other deck. Um, so without further ado and without more rambling, I'm trying to work on my rambles. Uh, the deck is right here. Now, if you recognize this box or if you've either backed uh the the, the 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 campaign or saw a previous video i did with that same box you will know that it comes from uh la Mucci design and i find their box very lovely and the uh kickstarter that i got or the deck that i got is a drum roll thank you is the uh baroque tarot here let me just put the name up because it's getting cut off by my camera here the baroque here, here and this is the one that we're going to be looking at uh, i also got the fairy tale tarot deck and that's the one i'll do another separate video for or else it'll just be too long so as you can see um when i uh, when you open the box so all i did was really just open the box and took out the packaging um envelope it was in uh so what you get you got a little thank you card for bringing the project to life uh one of well actually two well two three of the uh add-ons that were part of the campaign Oh, oh, geez. I got actually three, so that means four. So these are some of the stuff that we got uh, as a thank you. So here's this is a pin. There was a yes, no coin, as well as a bookmark, a feather bookmark, which I find this one is really nice. And there's also, if I take away the box, the uh, decks here. Just a little, just a little bit of peanut, uh, packaging peanuts. There is also a sheet of stickers, which I find them pretty. They're cute. I like the black, the the gold on black. So let me put at put at least some of these back, and we'll start with the baroque deck. Uh, so and like just as a side note, actually the um, there wasn't a Kickstarter for it, or was there? No, there wasn't a Kickstarter. But the fairy tale came before the Baroque. Uh, this was a deck that uh, the creator at Lamucci did. I think maybe like um, there was a pre-order and it came out maybe a f I want to say maybe up to half a year before the Baroque. But in any case, the uh, Baroque Tarot. Uh, that is that will have been on Kickstarter at the well not even beginning of the year more that it was right on in December it was a campaign that started in December ended in January it was um, funded successfully and also um, La Mucci Design also did the uh, Phantom Tarot which was the one um, that also had a uh, an app. Um, joint well an app that came along with it which enabled you to see the cards with certain elements pop out in 3d which was pretty cool i do have that deck uh, so this is another style uh, this one is based as the name says on more that baroque style of illustration um you know the 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 kind of oldish medieval well is baroque medieval really but don't don't quote me i'm not very history buffy but uh, she wanted they wanted to do uh, a deck of that style so here you have the box it has some nice filigree is it filigree i call it filigree but you can correct me if i'm wrong and here you can see la design 
2022. It is a clam uh, box. Uh, I was Phantom? No, Phantom was a two-piece box, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to look at it from afar, trying to dis to remember. Yeah, it was a two-piece box. Here, they decided to go with a clam box. Um, it has the booklet. And here you will see, let's see if I can kind of aim it right. It says, this deck calls the user to care for their soul with much love, to open their heart and mind to learn their lessons and better themselves, and to have faith that all will unravel as it should. Nice little saying. I don't know if it's me. Is it centered? Or is it centered? Nah, me a little off center, but let's not get picky. So here is the guidebook over here. Very simple. And so here in the guidebook, you will find uh, some spreads, the meanings for the cards. And yeah, okay. So here about, it'll tell about the deck itself, which like I mentioned, it uh, was a Kickstarter. So this here is their second Kickstarter. The first one was um, Phantom, but they do have other decks. So it's not as if it's their only two decks that they favorite. They have made other decks, Oracle cards, uh, Le Normand, if I'm not mistaken, in the past, it's just that this is the second one that they took to Kickstarter. And I, want, I have to say during that campaign, like for Phantom, I had, didn't have, there wasn't any issues. Uh, they were like, um, the, the communication was good. Um, you know, there were some things where like, uh, they asked for opinions, so they sent surveys and things like that. So I thought, and even for the Baroque, I think at one point there was a survey on whether we wanted, um, we, we'd vote on whether this should be gold or black, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was either gold or black. Um, and then even uh, then even uh, a survey on like uh, their next project which one would be most um, fun or attractive whatever so uh, like it says that the in the inner box this deck was created to care for your inner self your inner soul uh, so throughout you will see you know just a little blurb if we look at the spreads or recommended tarot spreads single your threes celtic cross little explanations and then after that we go to the uh, major arcana and as we can see it is a small color of the card and oh they even included i just noticed for the cards their astrological correspondences pretty cool okay and you have uh, upright and reversed meanings. So same for everything here. Very nice. I don't, I don't remember if they talked about the details of the guidebook, but very nice. So let us get into the cards. This is the back of the deck, but it'll be easier if we take away this little plastic ring. Yeah, we can do it. All right. So here are the sides. As with Baroque, Baroque is gold friendly, gold loving. So here we are. Look how nice. I think the shine of the gold is messing up with my camera right now. And if we can see with the cards, it is reversible. So all you flippity do friendly people, you can flip it with no fear. Oh my gosh, I like the design on the back. It's throwing off your, just so you know, if you film the back of the cards, it may throw off your like light finder on, on the camera. At least it is for me. Okay, the, it's a sturdy, um, sturdy card uh, thickness. It's not too thin, not too thick. It feels like it is sturdy, like it can hold up to, you know, some good uh, riffle shuffling going on here um, on a scale of, uh, Joy Seeker being thin to um, Modern Witch, which is thick. It would, I would put it, mm, what would be the middle? Middle would be like US Games, maybe? Like a little bit before US Game. 
and the car quality feels very nice very good i don't know if i don't remember and i don't know if it has a core like a core inner core or whatever but in any case I, I just touching it and handling the one card I'm not feeling afraid um, like I have to only overhand shuffle or have to be careful how I shuffle it and also there's a little bit of texture at the back uh, because of the foil which I think it's kind of cool so let us look here and we can see there's gold foil at the back and also the front of a card I'm gonna use here so you can see for uh, the number and the title that uh, there is also some gold foil there so what we are going to do I think I figured out I think it's my light that's going mad um, I'm going to zoom in and let's go and take a look at the cards as we flip through it and we are starting off with the fool now, if I remember correctly on the Kickstarter page, when you were looking at the cards, I don't believe that the characters have a face in the sense like there's no like, or like, you know, eyes, nose, things like that. Or if it is, it's kind of blurry, indistinguishable. And I think that could help for those that don't see what, I don't know, maybe uh, they don't want to have that association, kind of like the uh, John Travolta on the Rider Waite Smith, how they say the Nine of Cups kind of looks like John Travolta. <laughs> but this is kind of like a blank face, so you can uh, put whoever, you know, whatever to it. But uh, yes, let's start rambling and let's start flipping. So here's the fool with the doggy. And the magician. <laughs> So even though not all the cards are um, not all the cards are dark dark, but there is um, I don't know uh, not heaviness. There's a um, saturation to it. The high priestess. There's something uh, um, otherworldly or supernatural. Supernatural. the empress okay i don't know if it's me or if i imagine anything but this is giving me beyonce vibes take it as you will here we have the emperor hierophant the lovers so this is what i mean so you have the people but there's no not necessarily um human features if i can call it that it seems like it's masks or blanked out the chariot strength i find it's a beautiful card The Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, seems proud, oh excuse me, seems proud, and the Hangman, here we have Death, kind of more facing us than facing is it to the right that it come usually comes in on the right away Smith? I don't remember. Temperance. Temperance was definitely one of the cards that I was like, oh, I like. I think I, I like it enough to want to buy it or get it. The devil. You have someone in bondage slash latex wear going on here. Power. The star. Here we have the moon. Instead of two wolves, you have like a, you know, cute little puppy and then the wolf going on here. 
the sun. I know the sun give like when I first saw um the sun and how they did the card here, it gave me kind of like this uh King Louis the Fifteenth kind of regalia type of thing. In judgment. And I don't know if it's me or if you guys noticed, but it seems like when it's a like an, a character as in like an angel or some other entity type of that, the features are more there. So let's see for the world car, for example. So see, or like it's a mask or it's a world, it's, you know, like there's actual features. Like here, I think this is supposed to be Virgo, if I'm not mistaken. I always, I, I get some of them. It's either here or here I get mixed up, so. But... You know when it's like a, a, a yeah an entity a spiritual thing is this distinguishable but when it's a human like in judgment here you won't you don't see the faces they're blurred so see here like the angel you got a face and everything but yeah but let's continue so now we're starting off with the pentacles in the minors The Two of Pentacles. We got the three. We're here. Wait, is that a statue? No, it's not. No, I don't think it's a statue. I think that person is trying to carve something. Okay. I think that person is trying That is a person in the process of carving there's a guy bringing either a contract or you know this is the vision and then the other guy well i don't know what the other guy is doing right now but it does look like just a statue to me now we got the four of pentacles five we have six giving alms and stuff here goes the seven and the eight and nine and this time instead of an eagle it's a hummingbird We got 10, 10. And now the page. See, now I know why I'm th I was thinking of King Louis XV. Um, that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, um, The Iron Mask, I think it's called. When uh, the, well... Is it a spoiler at this point in time? I don't even remember how old this movie is. But basically, uh, the 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 fake the real king had this iron mask so that no one could recognize him. And then they, anyways, they they realized that there was a fake king on the throne, and they did the swap and everything else. But anyways, those irony golden masks—that's what it reminds me of. And here is the knight, definitely looking like a knight. Although I have to say, the horse is looking a little bit like a donkey. I think it's the ears. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Oh, now we have the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups, the Three of Cups. Now the art style is like a collage. Well, I don't want to call it collage, but it's kind. Of, it's as if it's it's photo manipulation to me. 
Now it could very well be that um, you know it was actually hand drawn, but just the you know the oil paint effect to kind of correspond with the Baroque um, era. We got the Five of Cups. I'm saying this because as I'm looking through the the camera screen, it kind of looks like it's blurry, but it's not that it's my camera that's blurry. It's the uh, the uh, card art illustration style. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, where here to me, instead of, you know, just the person with the arms down, or I forgot if it, the arms are down or it's kind of like a pensive pose. I don't have, well, I don't have my, my regular thing anyways, but here it looks as if the, the, the person is like, here, come to me. I am ready to take them all. Or accept it all, whatever it is. Or, you know, I'm open to all these choices. That's how I'm kind of seeing this guy here. Then the Eight of Cups. And where I've suddenly my brain can't figure out if eight is spelled properly. <laughs> oh, I'll blur aim it on my brain. Nine of Cups. Then we have the Ten of Cups. Here, instead of we accept everything, we're basking in the joy and the happiness. And there goes the Page of Cups. And the Knight. Now we have the Queen. No, oh, no, camera, what are you doing? And then the king. Who kind of looks like Mark Hamill. Am I going crazy? Is that a Mark Hamill lookalike? Or it's just my eyes? Now here goes the ace of wands. See, this, I, I, all the aces, it has this dreamy, yeah, this dreamy, hazy, almost, not illusion, mirage, mirage, um, kind of feel to them. It's giving me um, heaven and earth tarot vibes. I feel like it's, it, it, I feel like they would go well together, actually, the two of them. Two of wands. Now we have the Three of Wands. You can see a little bit of boat here. And I think that's a boat there. And there might be a bit of a boat to there too. Now here is the Four of Wands. Celebrating. Five of Wands. It's not looking too, too competitive. Maybe more of a debate or a standoff. And the six of one, which looks celebratory and basking in the victory. Now the seven of wands. I am, mm, it's kind of a passive, is it? It's like of a passive block, but not, well, it's a block. It seems like it's not, looking at the card, it's, if it, it, to me, what I'm getting, it's that it's not too aggressive of an attack. Or maybe it's just that the guy just isn't putting much effort because it's like, pfft. You know, like you're giving me all this opposition and I just kind of tap it away because it's nothing. We can explore this later. Eight of Wands. And I do, I did notice throughout the, the suit of Wands, but um, there are decorations. You know, the Wands are decorated at the top. So here, you know, you got a moon. This looks like an eagle, maybe. 
Yeah, and this looks like an eagle. I'm not sure what this one is. But we got little figures and stuff. Which we see still here with the Nine of Wands. Kind of a last dance or guarding my stuff. I'm guarding my pretty ornate wands. And if those ornate wands are in gold, yes, you would guard them. And here goes the Ten of Wands. This one definitely looks dark and like um, the person is perturbed. Per perturbed? Perturbed? Is that a word in English? Perturbed? Um, it it definitely looks way more like a oil painting kind of, you know, that blurry thing, almost like a, a like a dream, dream oil painting. And here, see here in the page, it's more clear more sharp even though it has that soft edges type of thing so the page of wands we got the knight the knight is ready to go here is the queen now i don't know if it's me it seems dark i am not seeing a cat i do see the flower oh what are you doing I do not see the cat. Maybe there is no cat. But I do like that the back, the seat back of her throne has a sunflower there. I think that's a pretty nature. And then the king. Now on we are to the swords. I believe we have done three of the four miners now. and now the two of swords and I have to say I think this is one of the more comfortable seating uh, places a two of sword has been because there was what bits of rock sometimes they're standing and I don't know it's looking like a cushy chair but and also in um, nor normally in the Rider Waite Smith the person is kind of you know rather straight down up and down no um leaning on one way or the other and here it seems like there is a the person is making a decision or is about yeah is making a decision that way that's the best way i can explain it or has already considered where where it's gonna go For better or for worse, we don't know. And the Three of Swords. This was the other card where I saw it. And I was like, oh, this is so nice. It kind of also reminded me if any of you are Roman Catholic or have been in Roman Catholic churches. Um, which one? Which one? Uh, I want to say either... Um, Either the Virgin Mary, uh, the Immaculate Mary statue. Yeah, maybe the Immaculate Mary statue. Or um, the uh, Resurrected Exalted Jesus has a heart that kind of looks like this where in the sculptures, they make the heart like really deep red and with the uh, radiance coming through it so that's what it kind of reminded me of and then of course the swords because it's three swords and the haziness here turbulent time but you know there's something about the heart being i don't know i don't want to well the word i have in mind is pure but i don't know there's something like precious we'll say precious now that is an interesting lay of the swords for the sword four of swords they are arranged in a cross here as opposed to you know one here three there or you know one laying on top of the person and three somewhere else interesting and then even the window here what is that that is let me see here hold on let me put it close to my because i got a little bit blurry 
See, that looks like a Virgin Mary picture. I don't know if it's me. Speaking of like Immaculate Mary or, um, oh, what is the name? Immaculate Conception. See, it looks like a spiritual visit, maybe. One of those like in rest and then spiritual visits or something. I don't know. The five of swords. Then we have the six of swords where here it seems like this departure seems to be, come on camera, what do you do? Uh, where the departure seems to be uh, at a much faster pace than other six of swords I've seen usually like well usually in other cards that I rem that I have in mind that I remember and that I can't name because whatever um you know, even Rider Waite Smith the water to me the water is either calm or maybe there's some waves in the water um but here it seems like really like they're let's go we're going we're going we're going so Seems that there is more, way more movement there. Now the Seven of Swords. Guy taking what he can and leaving what he doesn't need or what he can't take behind. Then we have the Eight of Swords. Not too tied up, not too stuck. Nine of Swords. Those swords are looking kind of gnarly, I have to say. And then Ten of Swords, where here the person, instead of being belly down, is belly up. Belly up and down. Yeah, the guy, the person is belly, belly up. And he got stuck. And saying, while I'm saying this in my head, it's kind of like, I got like uh, the in my head. I got like you kind of like you saw it coming, and yet you like you still didn't do nothing. And taka 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 taka, ten swords in you type of thing. I don't know. And then here the sun. You don't know if it's a sun down, sun up, depending on the circumstance. Now the page, it's kind of looking like a Roman statue. Then we got the Knight of Swords, who seems to be slower paced looking than the Knight of Wands. Am I am I imagining things compared to the Knight of Swords that we uh, the Knight of Wands? Sorry, uh, where am I? There we are. You see, the Knight of Wands seemed a bit more like gun ho And then here, the sword is going, but I don't know. They're ready to run, and this guy is kind of like, we're going. Here goes the Queen of Swords. And she's pointing. She's like, yep, this is what we're doing. She's decisive looking. That sword is ready to point and cut and do whatever it needs to do. And then the King of Swords. I know it's hard to talk because they don't necessarily have faces. Well, here there's a bit more faces than in the majors but I know it has that expression kind of like this this expression of like intelligence maybe like knowing what's what but in any case with that being said that was the flip through of the baroque tarot now what we're going to do let us go and do a few shuffles to see how it goes. So this is overhand. Okay, overhand, I mean, 
it has a map I, I did forget to say about the card that it, it does as you can see it does have a matte uh, finish it it's not clumping on me when I overhand shuffle which I appreciate a lot because um, especially it's matte without having without it having that um, that petal finish or that other type type of finish that kind of makes them sticking clumps and I appreciate that because sometimes I kind of like to kind of throw my shuffles like this and as you can see when I did the um, that little bridge shuffle there was no issues okay I can't quite bridgey eh, go back there Card smells good. I can kind of get whips of uh, that new card smell. Yeah. I definitely appreciate that it's not clumpy. Because I don't feel like they get shuffled well one day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let us grab, well, grab or let's see whatever card falls to see how um, they're described in the guidebook. Okay, fine, you fell. Oh, look at that, the devil. Let us look at that. All right, oh, look at that, there you go. So here, like I mentioned, let's approach them. We have the devil. So it will say for upright, shadow self, attachment addictions, reversed, releasing your limiting beliefs, exploring darkness with Capricorn. Now, what does it say? You are under the influence of something other than guidance. Addiction, repetitive habits, and attachments are trapping you from continuing your path. The person on the right cannot see the fire, but feels its warmth. Guidance will always be kind, possibly insistent or with an attitude, but never make you, you feel bad. Perhaps it's your shadow self, not your higher self, talking. Reversed. Guidance advise you to explore your darkness, make peace with it, and release harmful beliefs that have been limiting you. I think guidance advises you, I think. I think it should be advises. But here you go. And it's interesting, the guidebook is in the kind of, as if it's talking to you, the person, uh, directly. Uh, for this meaning, I mean, yeah, the general meaning is there. And yeah, that like generally I would take the devil card kind of kind of in that general meaning. Um, let's see if I have a minor. Nope, you are not a minor. Aha, a minor. There we go. Oh, look at that. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> Isn't that like an awesome card to have next to the devil? The eight of swords. Uh, speaking of an, uh, what was it? Limiting beliefs? Or or they're trapping you from continuing your path? Uh, so, oh, there you go. Fell right onto it. All right. So for the eight of swords. Upright. Negative thoughts. Victim mentality. Limiting yourself. Reverse, escaping into fantasies, releasing unrealistic visions. And this is Jupiter in Gemini. Um, uh, because it's swords, I'm pretty sure Gemini is correct. I don't know about Jupiter. I'm not that far in um, to know for sure that it's correct. But it sounds correct to me. Guidance recognizes a fear of mistakes and a distrust in yourself. You are in the dark and want to be rescued, feeling like a victim of circumstance. In actuality, you're trapped by thoughts, swords, that can be overcome, but the illusion of helplessness is more comforting than facing challenges. Guidance advises to make a plan, a backup plan, and stick to them one step at a time. In reverse, guidance warns you of escapism to a vision of better in your mind that is unreachable. 
Remember, you're alive here now and you can shape the now with actions, not fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at those, at those um, uh, uh, those uh, definitions, those thoughts. Um, I do like the approach of having it like a um, a conversation between you and guidance, as they call it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not. I think that's all to say about the the book. Uh, but yeah, in conclusion, the Barak Tarot deck back of the card design overall design i really like it i i, I think this may this will be up there in uh, back designs I, I really enjoy this a lot um the card stock is well made feels sturdy uh the mat is definitely a plus and the fact that it's not you know that that friction fr well friction unfriendly touch like the linen or the 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 rose petal i, I like it, it slips nicely um, you won't have issues if you like to fan out your cards. Even me trying to fan out my cards like this. Like, there's not going to be too much issues. It shuffles well. Uh, either way you choose to. Uh, the look, I really like that, it, the, the, that you know, the, the Baroque inspired. It's kind of antique. It has this um, seriousness, this... Yeah, this seriousness, it's like this dream world, but it, it has something serious, heavy to it. Um, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Maybe it's because of the color palette, the color choices, how not necessarily everything is sharp. There's like cards that are more blurry than others. Um, and, you know, the people don't necessarily have like um the well-defined features so it adds to that dream feeling or that vision or mirage feeling uh which i think is it's fine i like it plenty the box well you know it's a clamshell box no problem with it the uh booklet seems to be explaining things well enough uh, i do like that it has the uh, astrological correspondences to it i don't mind that it's on the card themselves that's fine i i don't really um you well i don't really pull the astrology the zodiac signs when i do readings like maybe once in a while so it's not enough for me that i would want it necessarily and i have other decks that have those signs you know prominently featured on the cards themselves if i really do want that um the guidebook seems to be um rather well thought out sorry with the keywords um speaking kind of directly to you the reader or the person reading the the the, the booklet uh and uh just you know kind of yeah the discussion between you and whatever guidance who who what wherever guidance uh, is it i would have to reread the the introduction but it seems kind of like it could be uh, or it, it could have been geared for uh, maybe shadow work or finding your path or uh, those more, s I don't want to say serious questions because the, most of the time the questions are more, you know, more or less serious, except maybe card of the day. But even card of the days, if you're pulling yourself a card daily, it's serious to you. But in any case, but you know, those kind of deeper, deeper, deeper work where you want to really dig deep into yourself. It seems like it's kind of geared towards that. Um, but, uh, with all that said, I enjoy it. I'm going to, uh, put that, <laughs> add that to my list of things to read. I have a few things I have to read uh, that I haven't gone through yet, but, uh, let me know guys, what do you think of this deck? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think of the style? Uh, would this be a deck that, um, you'd be interested in getting? Let me know in the comment section down below down there boop boop and until next time thank you so much for taking some time to uh spend uh whoa my phrase thank you so much for spending some time with me as we flipped through the baroque tarot deck by lamucci design until next time bye bye guys